Hiya and welcome to my YouTube channel which I hope you're excited to join me on. Today I will be telling you 19 facts about myself as it is exactly 19 years later from Harry Potter. Number 1. I'm Polish. I was born in Poland, raised in Poland for a bit and both my parents are Polish. I speak Polish. Yeah, I'm Polish. Number 2. My birthday is on the 9th of January which is the same as Severus Snape. Number three, I live in England and I have been for the past 11 and a bit years and this is where I learned to speak English. Number four, I love learning languages. I'm currently learning Italian, French and German and in the past I've tried to learn Russian, Spanish and Portuguese without much success. Number five, I am the person who always has a little mini packet of biscuits around to cheer someone up if they're having a worse day. Number six, I have a black cat called Batman and here he is. I originally wanted to call him James or Sirius or Harry or even Figaro. But that one is stuck. So, there's that one. Number seven, my favourite colour is dark blue, probably because I'm Ravenclaw and has just grown on me over time. Number eight, unless for a fancyish event, I've not not worn a Harry Potter piece of clothing as soon as the start of 2016. Number nine, I own too much stationery. This is my box of stuff that I do not use, like pretty much ever, and it's just stationery. Number 10. Although I wasn't even born then, my favourite type of Harry Potter match is the 2001 one. I have a box and folder over there and a few of the board games and PC games and I just really like the style of drawing that's been used then. Number 11. In the past I have tried to learn piano, guitar and recorder like everyone else in England. But the one which has uh, the most success with me is guitar so here's a little clip. <laughs> school I've always been in the blue house. In my primary school I was in the blue house, in my secondary school I'm in the blue house and at Hogwarts I'm in the Raven Hall. Number 13. As a Harry Potter fan, this is kind of bad, but I've never actually watched the movies in English until 2016. It just never really occurred to me to see them in the original language I guess. Number 14. I do this type of dance from New Zealand called Poi and most people don't know what it is so don't worry if you don't either. Here's a little clip of it. Because of Harry Potter, I'm a published author. I have a short story published in Spine Shillers itself, and it's about going into the theatre to see Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2 and being like, oh no, this is the end of Harry Potter. Oh, what am I going to do now? But now we have um, Cursed Child and Fantastic Beasts, and go more information on J.K. Rowling's Twitter and Pottermore, and it's just all still expanding. Number 16, I have this app which tells you what holiday it is every day, and they're like, quite funny. For example, today is National No Rhyme Day, which is a very important holiday to celebrate. <laughs> I think I just broke the rule. Number 17, I have a memories jar for each year, which I only started last year, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, I, basically anything that's important or funny or a cool experience that's happened in the year, I put into a little jar like this. The 2016 one isn't that full, but the 2017 one is overfilling already, and there's still four months left, so we'll see what happens at the end. It's also nice to read it at the end of the year and see how much you've done and how far you've come. Again, breaking the no rhyme day rules. Number 18. Most people probably do this, but when I have the choice, I always take the window seat on the plane and then take way too many pictures on my phone. And number 19. I always sleep with a stormtrooper mask on. I bought it as an ironic joke and then I like, actually wore it for one day and then I wore it for another and it just kind of snowballed into me actually needing to wear it otherwise I can't fall asleep. So this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it, you know what to do and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye!